think we need to look at, um, certainly we have to look to some degree of what work may have been unfinished from the point of view as to how do we make recommendations. It is hard um, if we really want to, ref to reform, if we really want to have proper oversight for government expenditure, to go back to our audit report from 20 2008. No changes have been made in the system. No recommendations for improvement have been done. Um, none of these recommendations have been implemented. So you're going to find some of the same issues um, unless we're able to um, really look at what's happening on the ground in terms of how we audit uh, each fiscal year for the government, each financial year of the audit, how timely those reports are provided to the committee, that kind of thing. I know one of the proposals um, from the, 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 the now administration is for the function or the, the membership of the Public Accounts Committee to be expanded to include um, member or social partners. And so we will have to look at as a group, I think, really what it is that we want to achieve. We want to use the Public Accounts Committee to, uh, uh, to flag um, or to witch hunt, or do we want to use the Public Accounts Committee to make meaningful changes in the system prior to the uh, general election, the opposition had uh, announced as part of its uh, manifesto commitments um, some recommended changes to the Public Accounts Committee, um, which I believe um, should be discussed sometime shortly. Those proposals have not been shared with the opposition as yet. Um, and so, I, it is a part of their reform agenda, um, but we haven't had a chance to, to look at the proposals, to discuss the proposals, or to determine um, what proposals we feel will serve in the best interests of uh, the role and function I would play as the chairperson.